In previous part of this tutorial, we created uh, geometry for steel billet and copper inductor. In this part of tutorial, we will create a mesh and export it to CNOS. So first, we will start by changing uh, module in Salome to mesh module. Then, we need to select partition that we created before and click on create mesh button. So here we have to specify to the algorithm which is going to be NetGen 1D 2D. NetGen 1D 2D is a good algorithm for automatic mesh generation. Uh, here we specify hypothesis and select maximum size of any element in this mesh to be 50 millimeters. For minimum size, we can safely choose 0 millimeters and click OK. Now we click right button on mesh and click Compute. We see that Salome automatically created a mesh, but uh, for billet and copper inductor windings, this mesh has not good refinement to resolve uh, skin depth for high frequencies. So now we have to create submeshes for this mesh uh, that will have very good refinement for inductor windings and billet. So we make sure that our mesh is selected here and click on button called Create Submesh. Now we want to select for geometry billet. For 2D algorithm we will choose quadrangle mapping. For 1D algorithm we will choose wire discretization. And for hypothesis we have to select automatic length. So here for fineness I will just specify 1. Click OK. Uh, 1D is for corner and uh, boundary refinements. Since we need to resolve uh, skin depth, we want also to specify 1D, uh, 0D algorithm here. There is only one for segments around vertices. Here in uh, length near vertex hypothesis, we will say that we want near vertices, quarter millimeter uh, large elements. We click OK, click Apply and Close. So now, if I right-click on this submesh and ask him, Salome, to compute submesh, we see that now billet has very good refinement around boundaries and also around corners and much larger elements in the middle. So the next step, we also want to, to have better refinement for windings. First, we will start with this lower winding here. Again, we will click on Mesh here and select a button Create Submesh. For Geometry, we will choose Winding 1. And for 2D Algorithm, we will select Quadrangle Mapping. For 1D Algorithm, we will choose wire discretization and for length we will use the same as before for billet automatic length. For fineness we will specify 1. Click OK. Also we want good corner refinement and surface refinement for this uh, winding. Therefore we will specify 0D algorithm. We select this algorithm which is the only one and specify length near vertices which is going again to be quarter millimeter. Now if I right click on the submesh and choose compute submesh, then Salome computes the submesh and you can see that the copper inductor winding now has very good structured mesh for this winding. And the same mesh we want to create for other remaining three windings. Again, I select Mesh 1, I click on Create Submesh, I choose Geometry for the second winding, and of course we could repeat the same operations as before we did for the first winding, but we also can use another algorithm which is called uh, Projection 1D 2D just to repeat the same mesh to other winding, other this winding, because they're those uh, windings are identical in geometry. So for hypothesis we have to 
choose this one and for source face we will choose winding one click OK and apply so now if we compute the submesh you can see that this submesh is identical to the first winding so now we will repeat the same operation for two remaining windings so for geometry we select winding number three for 2D algorithm we use projection 1D 2D so here we select hypothesis source phase and for source we choose the second winding click OK and apply and also if we don't close this mesh uh, customization uh, window then we can all at the same time select the fourth winding and as you can see that Salome automatically provides us with algorithm that uh, Salome thinks uh, would be appropriate then we can click apply and close and for mesh we can now uh, select compute as you can see all four windings have very good refined structured mesh now and also the billet um, this region around billet and windings is, has very good refinement and all remaining uh, air domain has very good coarse mesh so now it's a very important step um, Cenus will know uh, the names for uh, boundaries and uh, for domains only if we apply such operations that we click on mesh create groups from geometry and now we uh, by holding uh, our mouse we select all groups that we created before both for bodies and for boundary conditions we click apply and close and now Sinus so will know about the names of those boundaries and uh, bodies and the final step is to select mesh and go to tools plugins and send mesh to Sinus so when we get this message then our mesh was successfully loaded to Sinus this was the second part of our tutorial thank you